Hey, you. Streaky Bay, here we come. We're here, bitches. Streaky Bay. Steph's just checking in. This joint is packed and it's a pretty sick spot. Right, the water's just right there. I'm not sure where we are yet, but wow. It's pretty slick. It is absolutely packed. There's not much lawn or anything around, but we've got the floor mat to put out. It's got everything downtown too, so we're gonna go down there and stock up on a few things, because after we leave here, we sort of, there won't be much. So Juna, and then after that, there's not much. Uh, you excited, Ivy? Yeah! Woohoo! It looks like so many kids. Look at them, they're everywhere. He's out, the wrecking ball, isn't he? He's a wrecking ball, isn't he? <laughs> Guys. I've driven like about ten Ks. Like pretty much straight through to the um, the west side of Streaky Bay, so I'm not sure what it's called here, but I found a nice little little spot here out of the wind because the wind's coming from behind me. So uh, that's why I thought I'd dart over here. I got some bait on this one, chucked him out. It's a nice little sand barrel out here, so you never know. And uh, there's some rocks and stuff through there, and the tide's coming in down through the middle there. There's a little creek section. Anyway. Should be alright. But yeah, what a beautiful little spot here. It's just terrible, like back in town, the wind's just picking up in the bay too much, so I'll come around where nobody else seems to be fishing and try me luck. You've got to be on the rod the whole time with these little buggers, because uh, they just take the bait. Close. Another one. Little fella. They're freaking everywhere. Well, I've been practicing my spear and I've got about five spears off then. Shoot <laughs> shot a big bar, big old mullet. Whoa! He's a solid bastard. Well, if he doesn't make good bait, he'll make something. Solid. There's heaps more than that. I'm going out again. You! I managed to get a couple of good fillets off that sea mullet. I'm going to eat them tonight. They say to cook them straight away. Bleed them, which I did. And then these little yellow eye mullet, they got a couple of nice little fillets off them. I'm not the best filleter, but um, I'll eat them as well. They're nice. 
Gotta fade. I'm in a tree. It's actually pretty good. Not bad at all. I'll just get out of the wind here. Anyone who actually tells you that sea mullet and those yellow eye mullet are no good, they're um they're just people that catch too many fish. <laughs> Check this out up here, guys. These, um, these starlings, they put these um, deterrents up today because they've been just making a mess here. And look, it's work. It's actually working. I was shooting some B-roll with the zoom lens, but, whoa. They got deterrents in that tree, that tree, and that tree now, and there's millions of starlings, or hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, and they're actually not landing. They're too scared now. So whatever it is, it's working. Oh, it's, there's a deterrent up there. Like a, uh, it's making a sound that's scaring them, that only they can hear or something. I was talking to the guys today. Thanks. Uh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, this is gonna. Gonna be washing that thing for the next week. Hey fam, we are. <laughs> hey fam, we've left Streaky Bay. We stayed there for two nights, and we're on our way to the Luby Beach. Woo! We're going there. Every man and his dog's going there too, and every man, yeah, every man and his dog's been there, but. I think it's just all these content creators dropping videos. I'm honestly sure that that's what it is because yeah. there's a big New Year's party with all like some large content creators there, and they dropped it on YouTube. And it's just it was, it was busy place before that, but apparently it's just the last six months has just gone mental. Well, someone said down the street there was over 100 vans parked along the beach. That's huge. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're only five k's away, and we'll chuck the drone up from the road here and we can fly over and just sort of have a quick look at how many cars are there and then sort of take get an idea there's some campers we met just before with big families and they look like really nice people so we might see if we can put it up and they're, they're not far behind us so we could we could spot us spot us um enough beach line for three campers to go in there we can uh we could camp alongside them they're gonna heap of kids and oh, they're ready awesome. to shoot their kids as well so looks like us <laughs> and i've just ducked into the streaky bay op shop what <laughs> i just ducked into the streaky bay bloody op shop to get some toys because these kids are doing our head in at the moment so got some blocks and Rox just spent $50 on a pair of um, sandals for Laney because he turfed his Nikes over the jetty yesterday. And I've just bought him a $1 pair of rubber sandals. There you go, look on the, look on there, yeah. you can sort of see. That's, that's where we're going, we're only three and a half k's away, it's so close. I didn't yeah. realise how close it was to Streaky. We should have probably pre-bought that, but anyway. It doesn't matter, everyone else is doing it. Yeah. Get this way, moving along. Anyway, you'll see when we get there. See you there. Took a bit of a wrong turn there, 
there, but apparently we're supposed to enter in from the north side. Oh yeah, baby, we're coming, boys. Good this these people are such nice people the same people we we're just talking about that we just met on the side of the road in town for like two minutes they've pulled up and they got camber trailers and they're all unhooking we're going to do a bit of a v so we can all open up to each other so yeah what legends <laughs> so uh corey's coming in now with his van zach's just unhitched there in the middle and um then we're going to go on the bottom side on the north side and open up towards them so yeah bloody good buggers straight away that's how friendly it is that when you're in the traveling game we found just run into another family with young kids and yeah you're like family straight away so it's pretty awesome like that they, these fellas look like good buggers too look like they like a beer <laughs> so anyway there we go we're getting there <laughs> And it is just unreal. Oh, now all we need is another feed of um, salmon or something to come through. Get a few more of them. It's going to be like this and even better tomorrow. So we're thinking we might not leave until um, about five in the arbor or something and just drive into the night and get, you know, drive to midnight or something if it's a good day like this. Because like... Look at it. How could you leave? It's going to be even better tomorrow. The wind's going to drop off more. So, yeah, I reckon the fish will come in the Sabo, to be honest, because that's what they'll do if when the when the breeze comes in out there. They'll come into protected waters, looking for bait fish and that. So that's my theory, anyway. Hopefully, I'll be right. We got the lo rods loaded. Woo! 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 
First catch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You. Watch which one was mine. Uh, that one. The, the smallest one, 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 one. The little guy. <laughs> but it's the little guys can't do they don't. Oh, you missed the kick! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell the people they want to know. Those are telling me how to fill a fish a bit because I've only a bit of a backyard. Um, Anyway, look at that. It's quite alright. A couple yeah. of little nice fillets out of that. Yeah. But they're teaching me how to take the bones out of them properly. Oh yeah. These guys have just got heaps of leftover calamari, so I'm going to fry that up real quick. I can't stuff it up. I've got to get it real hot, cook it fast. Get it real, real, real hot. I don't know what they've seasoned it with, but it looks alright. How good is this? Kids are here, everyone's been swimming. The wind's come from that way, that's why I'm hiding around here. But, um, pretty deadly spot. cruising down the end of Paloobi. We haven't been up here for an explore yet, but they said there's a heap of uh, razor fish and apparently they're pretty good eating. These guys we're with um, said that they've eaten them a few times. They're like a scallop sort of. There's a good bit of meat in them. So there's the troopy girl. Um, so we're just cruising down there now. It's a bit boggy up this end of the beach. Give them a look though. That, my little friends, is a razor fish. They're kind of like a big muscle slash, I don't know what they are. And what, we thing you can get shell them and cook them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're kind of hard, that's why you need gloves. Like, those oldies there didn't have gloves and they were struggling to pull them out of the sand like this. That's a good one. See, the one I got yesterday was like that. But, um, a couple of bit bigger razor fish here. There's a couple of, a couple of blue manners here. So, a little bit of meat on these ones. And they're quite good, fresh. A couple of crabs. This is Curtis and Steph. But yeah, we got a banging good day again today. A lot better than yesterday. So, it's our last day. We're leaving uh, in about 
hour and a half it's about 3 30 now so we're pretty much all set up there ready to go sorry about the wind but um i'm just going to try and do a panorama because the beach is chockers like there's literally i don't know after i do the photo i'll be able to count them but i, I haven't stood out here but i reckon there's a about 80, 70, 70 vans maybe. Yeah, we got our neighbour Curtis here. He's going out for another dive. He's the keenest diver on the beach here, this bloke. I need to get something good. <laughs> your missus isn't going to be happy. <laughs> about a, what's that about dive three for the day? Yeah. Uh, dive three. He'll get it. He spotted a big flatty earlier, so uh, he's going out to see if he can find that big fella. He's a, um, but they're on the same trip as us also, so we'll see them a bit. Um, and his wife's Stephanie too, so, or girlfriend, I don't even know if they're married, but yeah. Um, good buggers. Anyway, that's Paluby for you guys. I'll roll on a few shots and um, we'll pretty much end that one there. Heading across the Nullarbor in about an hour and a half, straight for you, WA. See you guys. You can't bury it. Hi! 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! I can't. He's too Hi. reckless. Hi! Hi, Cory! Bye! 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 See legends! See kids! See Curtis, see Steph! Woo! Big Woo! Woo!